Privacy, security, encryption. These are all nouns, and mostly the reasons why you should be using Signal over any other messaging app if those nouns are important to you. With the news of WhatsApp being compromised by governments to target journalists and activists, the days where the security-minded were seen as tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists, dismissed with a waving hand and, oh, stop overreacting, there's nothing to worry about, aren't aging well. Background. Concerns over data and Big Brother have been rekindled lately, as is the case with most security issues. They come in waves, the latest after Edward Snowden stepped back into the spotlight with a new book and an appearance on Joe Rogan's podcast. And the reality of the matter is that for anyone using a highly corporatized messaging app, you have no idea if your messages are safe. You can't trust WhatsApp, you can't trust Facebook. Apple has stood up on behalf of people's privacy before, but there's no way of guaranteeing that one day public perception or political pressure won't come and undo all of that. And so, Signal. Signal is a basic app with airtight end-to-end -end encryption everywhere. Chats, groups, voice calls, video calls. When it comes to privacy concerns, you can't really do much better. Signal is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to develop open source privacy technology that protects free expression and enables secure global communication. Its founder, Moxie Marlinspike, no, that's not a Harry Potter character, walks the walk and has taken his fair share of heat from the US government for his stance on security. However, not all is as it seems. Open Whisper Systems, the technology behind Signal, is funded by the Open Technology Fund. By name, it just seems like a benevolent patron of privacy, but in actuality is an offshoot of Cold War era propaganda and espionage projects. I'll put a link in the description to a great investigative article written by Yasha Levine, author of Surveillance Valley. I suggest you give it a read because paraphrasing his research in video form wouldn't do it justice. There's really no way of telling if or how much Signal is compromised by that, but it sure doesn't help their credibility to be backed by surveillance wolves in sheep's clothing. Features. If you're used to iMessage or WhatsApp, Signal gives you most of the features you've come to expect. Media and file sharing, group chats, GIFs. You'll pretty much only be missing group voice and video calls on the WhatsApp FaceTime side, and for the iMessage side you won't have as much cross-platform availability, and you won't have reactions or the weird message effect options. But does anyone actually use those? And with that you have the best guarantee of your correspondence being for your eyes only. The only concern is that Signal isn't decentralized. It's established as a US-based company and therefore could one day be forced into compliance if legislation comes that mandates backdoors or government access to end-to-end -end encrypted apps. By design, an end-to-end -end encrypted message is foolproof. Signal, as the courier, has no way of seeing what's inside the message. I'll put a link in the description to a video that describes end-to-end -end encryption in more detail, but think of it as sending a locked safe through the mail. The postal service knows that you're sending a package to your recipient's address, but they have no way of knowing the contents or of opening it. If someone requested the message data from your account, all Signal could provide is a record that messages were sent, but as to what they said, they have no way of knowing. But if they were required by law to break that encryption with a back door, sayonara security. The upside. So who should switch to Signal then? There are a few use cases. For journalists and activists who have reason to feel they could be targeted, Signal is an absolute must. If you, um, maybe have some things to hide, or do things you wouldn't want the police to know about, Signal is a good idea. I didn't say it. If you're trying to distance yourself from the corporate intelligence complex, it's also a step in the right direction. But I think if you aren't at risk or looking to make a big political stance, digitally protesting in your Guy Fox mask and black hoodie, it's not really necessary. The downsides. Signal has a bit of an image problem. 
Because its main users are mostly those with something to hide, it gives the impression that you're either the guy who used to sell me weed in high school, or that you walk around with a trench coat and wear sunglasses that are too small for your face. As far as communities go, Signals is one of the last that I'd want to identify with. You can have a privacy and security forward app without all the fire and brimstone. For an app to really break through, it needs to be something I could easily convince both my friends and my Aunt Janice to download. If that isn't on the table, there isn't much point in proceeding. If it can't fully replace what I'm using, and I can't keep all my contacts in the same place, a new app becomes more of a bother than a benefit. When it comes down to it, Signal is a one-trick pony. Encryption is their only strong suit, and I don't think many people really need end-to-end -end encryption on a day-to-day -day basis. It lacks the features, it lacks the users, it lacks a unique spark that would set it apart from the rest. This analogy is a stretch, but bear with me. Signal feels more like a power tool. A couple times a year you dust it off for a very specific task. Whereas other messengers are Swiss army knives with just about everything you could need. And I think Signal can tell. In rare back-to-back -back updates this November and December, they added iPad support and introduced stickers. Before that, their last press-worthy update was back in February. It seems the Moxie crew might be feeling more pressure as they've started to fall behind in features. Just look at how much of a departure this blog post is. Remind you of anything? Competition is better for everyone, though. And if Signal's feeling the heat and preparing to make a big splash in the new decade, I'm ready. For the moment, though, it's stuck in the security niche, lacking the quality of life that other messengers have. Multiple devices, message deletion, backups, customization. But if you don't need all the fancy features and just want to be incognito, go get yourself some signal.